Amigos, we're back at Universal Studios and it's kind of weird because you see the smile? That's right, when you're outside, you're not required to wear a mask. So everybody wants to take a picture in front of the dragon, right? You guys can see the line here. Everyone's like, oh, I want him to breathe fire. Maybe he's going to breathe fire next. But what I found even more interesting was the fact that strangers are asking other strangers hey can you uh can you take my phone and uh take a picture which to me is a big deal because i mean think about it during the pandemic how many of you amigos were like hey i'm not i'm not touching some stranger's phone they might have covid so just seeing that we are returning back to normal is uh it means a lot because well um who doesn't want halloween horror nights to return am i right It'll be interesting to, to see when Universal lifts its uh, reduced capacity um, just because, well, we're only 105 days away from Halloween Horror Night, September 2nd, 30 years of fear, uh, but who's counting, right? So I really hope that this summer acts as a great experiment so that they not only bring back Halloween Horror Nights for its 30th year, but they also bring back the freaking fear pass. Because amigos, if you're like me, I don't, I can't get my my thrill just in one night. I gotta come multiple nights. And on that thought, uh, I'm getting pretty hot, so I think it might be time to cool down with some butter beer ice cream. Whether you're a local or you're visiting from out of town, I feel like this is the one place where everybody comes to. Like, oh, you went to Universal? Did you eat at Insert Florian's Fortitude's ice cream? Um, but this floor, like this floor, always gets me because. Every time I walk in, I know it's Harry Potter, but all I can think of is like Beetlejuice. So I ended up getting the banana and pistachio soft serve ice cream. It's already melting because it's so hot out. Oh yeah, that's very refreshing. So right across from Woody Woodpecker's coaster is the new DreamWorks destination signage. So I know everyone's been blowing this up like on Instagram and on Twitter, but my theory always was there's already a stage here, right? So I felt like why not use the stage during Halloween Horror Nights and bring back like a second act. I guess this whole land with Woody Woodpecker and Curious George just feels like a, like a missed opportunity. I mean, the only time, amigos, I come back here, besides today, is when I'm waiting in line for one of the houses at Halloween Horror Nights. Usually, uh, there's a house that leads over there, and then there's a house that leads that way. So, I wonder if this summer, they'll bring back um, retro merchandise from Halloween Horror Nights. I know they're really pushing the Jurassic World um, coaster, but I know that those type of shirts sold really well. Um, especially when they brought back like the vinyl um, HHN music. The Monsters Cafe hasn't been open since the pandemic started. So I wonder if they plan on opening this back up this summer. Um, I really like the food options here. Uh, not just because it's like HHN inspired the decor, but they have like Portuguese sausage and like brisket and then you can get mac and cheese. So I don't know. It says here, sorry we missed you. Please visit us at the Bone Chillers kiosk. I think this is the Bone Chillers kiosk. But you can't get like meat platters here. It's basically like churros, uh, slushy drinks, draft beer. And I think there might be corn dogs. So I noticed there was no one in the line and there was no cars going up. And the reason amigos is because the wind. That's right. So the team member let me know that wind will cause the ride to shut down because it's too much of a risk for uh, guests to be up there, I guess, with uh, actually, I, didn't, I don't even know why, but he did say that the winds were at 25 miles an hour. You can kind of tell with the palm trees blowing there. So back inside the Universal store. So I don't see any new merchandise, but I do feel like Shrek is about to get a lot of attention, especially with uh, the new DreamWorks meet and greet area. Maybe Universal's gonna go like 360 on us and just be like Shrek-a-palooza.
Ooh, these book bags are so popular. This one's Captain Marvel, Captain America, Iron Man. And this one is $83.99. And then there's like a smaller Marvel, sort of like over the shoulder uh, book bag. And this one is $79.99. So I think this year for Christmas, I'm gonna ask for these Homer Simpson or Homer Simpson eating a donut, I think. Yeah, he's like chasing a donut, maybe dreaming a donut. Boxer shorts, so there, let's see. $25 for boxer shorts. Yeah, definitely a Christmas present. Amigos. So it's time to go. Looks like the rain's coming in, but I had a blast coming to Universal Studios with no mask. Until next time, hasta luego.